Welcome to our lecture online. When we take a look at the next example, it doesn't appear like that can even be factored. Notice when you look at the numerical uh, factors here, numerical coefficients, notice that this is odd and these are even, so we cannot factor out a common uh, number. We cannot factor a common A or a B. Hmm, you don't think that this can even be factored. But what if we group them two by two? Let's see what happens. So notice if we group the first two, and group the last two together, then see what we can factor out, we might get to a factored solution. First of all, here we can see that we can factor out a number 6. That leaves us with a 2 minus a, and then here, let's see if we can factor out a 5 and a b, so plus 5b, and let's see what we have left, that gives us a 2 minus a. And notice, now when we have two terms here, they each contain the common factor 2 minus a, which can be factored out. So this is 2 minus a. When we factor out 2 minus a, we have left a 6 plus a 5b. And notice that's the factored form of our initial problem. It can be factored. Now what if we had scrambled the terms? What if we had written 12 plus 10b and then minus 6 a and minus 5ab, would we then be able to factor it if we had scrambled the terms? Well, let's see. Well, let's group the, the two first ones and the two second terms together. Here we have a common factor. Mm, the common factor would be uh, 2. Yes, the common factor would be 2. So we have 2, and that leaves us with a 6 plus 5b. And here I can factor out a minus a, minus a and I'm left with a 6 plus 5b. And notice, again, I have two common factors in the two remaining terms. I can then factor out a 6 plus 5b, and then I have left a 2 minus a. And notice, I end up with the exact same result as I did before. It didn't matter which two uh, terms I grouped together, I always will get the factored form if it is factorable. Of course, that's a big if, but by just going ahead and trying it to see if we get a result, that alone shows us, yes, it is factorable. So don't sit there and wonder, can I factor this, can I not? Just go ahead, group them together, two terms at a time, since we started with four terms, factor out what's common, and no matter how the terms are grouped together, you will get the factored form if it's factorable, and that is how it's done.